we are now joined by our race winner, driver of the number 54 Monster Energy Toyota, Kyle Busch. It's his third victory this season, and this is Joe Gibbs Racing record extending ninth victory at Auto Club Speedway. We're also joined by winning crew chief Adam Stevens. And Adam, if I remember correctly, I believe you won this race a year ago That's right. with Joey Logano. So welcome back. Um, Kyle, uh, once again, a dominating um, performance by you. Your third victory this season. I think some of your competitors are wishing you had not went back to JGR equipment. But talk a little bit about your win today and um, just the success JGR has had here at Auto Club Speedway. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I mean, there were it's just been fun to be able to work with Adam and work with these guys at Joe Gibbs Racing again. You know, they, they're uh, they're known for having great stuff, but yet, uh, you know, you still got to be able to wheel it. And today, you know, I don't think we were the best car, but, um, you know, got up on the wheel there at the end and just chased down that 12. He was really, really good today. And so um, didn't want to see him win <laughs> here in front of our hometown crowd of uh, Monster Energy folks that were in the stands today. And, of course, uh, the Toyota folks that are here as well. And so we got up on the wheel like I said and just tried to push hard as far as I could and uh, run the top side there for a little bit and ran him down got there was able to uh, do like a, a draft move by him and then you know just sort of kept running the top to keep that momentum going but then I uh, was still trying to search around and try to find some lap time that was good for us that um, you know it seemed like we were kind of back and forth a little bit Sam could run a good lap I'd run a good lap so uh, we were battling each other there uh, on the stopwatch maybe not necessarily on the racetrack but uh, still it felt like it was a a great race. About halfway through, two thirds of the way through, uh, us and the 12 were putting on a good show up front. You know, we were trading the lead back and forth a little bit, side by side. He'd go inside, I'd go inside, and so, um, you know, it's pretty neat. All right, Adam, talk a little bit about winning uh, for the second year in a row here with um, at Auto Club Speedway and being able to get that win with Kyle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you know, it's it's pretty special to win back to back. Um, I guess we did it at, at Bristol as well um, a couple weeks ago from the fall to the spring race this year. Um, this is a tough place to race and, and win. Um, there's just uh, so many grooves you can run and the, the track surface is aging, which is fun. Uh, the tires fall off and you, get, you can get alternate pit strategies if you have a couple quick cautions. Um, and all that makes it remarkable that Joe Gibbs Racing has been able to win uh, now nine in a row. Um, but it's a driver's track, you know, uh, they can really manage uh, the tires and manage their car and adjust their balance from what they do b uh, behind the wheel. Um, and I think that's been our strength here. And uh, Kyle obviously is a big part of that. And, um, you know, to keep that streak alive and to uh, give him a, a car that's close enough, uh, we weren't dominant by any means. Um, that, that's tough to do. You know, we're still uh, getting used to each other and trying to figure each other out. And uh, I feel like um, unloading strong and uh, finishing it off with the pole and the win, um, you know, that, that's a feather in our cap for sure. All right, we'll kick off questions here with Reed. Go ahead, Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. For both Kyle and Adam, uh, going into this race, how important was it to you guys to keep that streak going and how big a source of pride is it for the organization to be able to do that? Uh, I really didn't know about the streak till we got here, you know, mm -hmm. so once we got into today's race, I thought I'd be pretty cool to, to keep that streak going, you know, and I thought we had two really good shots at it, and then throughout the race, I, I then thought we had three. Um, we were pretty good. The 20 was right behind me there early. The 11 passed me early, you know, so he was really strong. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be a, a race of the Joe Gibbs racing cars up front, but then the 12 uh, come out of nowhere and uh, was really fast today. So, um, you know, I'd, we then sort of lost track of the 11 and the 20 there, but all in all, um, you know, we, we kept close enough to him, or at least we could see him, and I could search around and try to find something to, to get up there and pass him. And I think it's pretty cool that you can see a team go to a racetrack and dominate like that in a series. I'd, um, although it's it's really, really awkward because we've got nine in a row here in Nationwide Series, and JGR has yet to win a cup race here. Uh, so that's, uh, that's quite an odd stat, but... Uh, we're working hard at it. I know Denny's really good for tomorrow, and um, I think that we're, we're okay for tomorrow, too. So hopefully we can change that. All right. Okay, Bob, go ahead. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. Well, I was going to ask if you knew the streak that JGR had not won a cup race here and that Toyota, I don't think, has ever won a cup race here. I mean, how big is the deal is that going for tomorrow? Uh, I don't think it's that big a deal. I mean, certainly we'd like to end it. You know, it'd certainly be nice, but, uh, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world if we don't. So, um, you know, we'll just continue to work hard. I mean, there's a lot of great teams that run on Sundays that have been dominant forces here in the past. I know 
Uh, Hendrick, of course, with the 48, has been so good here over the years. And before that, I think, was uh, the Roush gang with the old car from, like, you know, 2007 and before that. And so, um, you know, it's it kind of comes and goes a little bit. But, uh, you know, you just got to continue to work hard and put everything forward and, and just try to make sure that you're doing what you can do to, um, you know, make sure that your cars are the best that they need to be. Okay, we'll go to Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Can, has it been long enough with Matt being over there to get a feel as to what kind of a contribution he's made to the organization? Yeah, I mean, um, Matt certainly, what's weird about Matt's situation is um, he's sometimes not very good in practice. And he and Jason, they work on doing a lot of different things and trying a lot of different things throughout practice. But then in the race, they put all the right changes in the car, and they're fast on Sundays, you know, and he does a really, really good job of racing. So I think we've seen that now three three weekends in a row where, uh, you know, Las Vegas and then uh, last week and, um, you know, Phoenix, he was okay as well too. But um, Matt adds a lot to our organization just with his experience that he has and, and his demeanor that he carries and the way that he, he works. Um, you know, with communication with Jason all the time and then in communication in our meetings and stuff like that. He's he's really good and he's particular and it's fun to, for me to comment on my car and for him to comment on his car because some of the things that we do try, we, we try to back to back on, you know, everybody's car, try the same things and see what the comments are. And he and I, you could you could blindfold each other and, and say that you're listening to the same guy. So it's really good for, for Matt and I. Okay. Alan Bailey with American Racing Network. Kyle, what do you guys learn today in the Nationwide Series race that's going to carry over into the cup race, and what's the biggest challenge tomorrow for that cup race? Uh, the biggest challenge tomorrow is going to be temperature. Uh, it's just going to get hot, and it's going to get slick, man. This track today is uh, its a bit of a handful after a few laps on tires, you know, and so tomorrow is going to be the same thing. Um, and it's going to be magnified a little bit because the cars are faster. You know, you, you've you've got more horsepower so the rear tires get hurt worse you go down the straightaways faster into the corners so the front tires get hurt worse there um, and and also some of the things that we learned today just Adam made some really good calls on the car on trying to help it make it better and so some of that will translate over into the cup car some air pressure adjustments and whatnot and helping the front tires live longer and um, you know making sure that your car turns throughout the whole run because it seems like you start a little loose here then you go tight so just trying to minimize that transition as best as you can uh, today was was a bit of uh, a struggle and seemed to be that's what everybody was fighting but um, you know anybody that could do it better than someone else was obviously ahead of that that guy okay Shell Siegel Fontana Herald News Kyle they've been talking a lot today about how old the track how old the surface of the track is how does that change your strategy going in here compared to other tracks uh you know that you just can't run wide open, I guess, or um, or run too hard into the corners. You do have to bide your time with saving your tires a little bit, and that starts from lap one, rolling out the gate. You know, even qualifying for me, I I tend not to hustle it right away as soon as we pull off the line. You know, I wait through it through one and two before I get going to to build my speed. So, um, you know, racetracks like this and Atlanta and Texas and uh, some other ones that are out there, I guess Chicago, you know, they're, they're got some character. They're unique, and that's what makes it challenging on the driver's part, the crew chief's part, the communication together between the two to make sure you're better than everybody else. All right, go ahead. David Carvello, Nesco.com. I know you were busy winning the race, but did you notice pa Parker sneaking up there to get his career best nationwide finish? <laughs> did he need that, given his uneven kind of nationwide start? Maybe? I, I was rolling down uh, the front stretch there uh, after I took the checker and was looking at the board, just kind of reading down on, on who all I beat and where they finished. I saw the 77. I'm like, wow, like, cool. That's really good. You know, they're certainly uh, working hard over there, man. Those guys do a lot to uh, with a little, but yet, you know, they're – they put it all together today for a fourth. That's that's really great. You know, we ran really good here last year. Uh, I was battling with this guy over here in Logano for the win and come up a little bit short. But, um, you know, still, they uh, they did a good job. So, proud of them. All right. Go ahead, Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. After you made the announcement that you'd be staying at Gibbs, you know, during the media tour and everything, um, 
have you noticed, you know, we, we had talked about putting the Gibbs engines back in your car. Have you noticed a dramatic difference for KBM with that? I mean, is that only pretend to, you know, bigger things for, you know, you, Parker, and the whole organization? Yeah, I think so. With um, with everything that we've done over the off season, we've sort of gotten a little bit closer with the Gibbs guys as far as information sharing and whatnot. Um, it, I'm sure it's definitely not 100% the way we want it to be, but uh, we're two separate organizations still. So our guys, they they have to work hard with a little less, you know. Um, but still, they've uh, they've accomplished a lot today with running well with Parker, and and they could have this year. You know, they were running fifth before they had an issue at at Vegas with the left rear uh, track bar mount. And then, um, you know, last week at Bristol, I can't remember. I think he was running decent, like seventh or eighth or something. But, um, you know, we'll we'll keep plugging away at it. And, um, you know, it only helps that that those guys are getting good runs so they can run up front to see what they need to, to grow and mature into a top team.